no one's Yiddish is ever good enough. And I will certainly be the first to cop to the admission that my Yiddish isn't as good as I want it to be. It isn't as good as I hope it will be tomorrow and next year. And so I think when you take the double whammy of scholarship and scholarly insecurity with the particular world of Yiddish and the anxiety about what's being lost and it's, you know, year in, year out, another great Yiddishist passes away and we feel these losses very keenly and we just had a slew of them um, in recent weeks before the conversation we're having today. Um, so I think there's this kind of double whammy of anxiety of I'm not good enough. Um, do I have what it takes? That has to be balanced, on the other hand, against the knowledge that very few people are interested in doing this at all. And so the expression that I always keep in the forefront of my mind is, bimkom she'ein ish is heading oich afish, in the place where there is no man and no person, then herring also counts as a fish. And I like this expression so much that I ended up writing about it um, in my scholarly work and really unpacking it and thinking about it. So of course the first half of it is in Hebrew and it comes from Perek, or what we would call in Hebrew Pirkei Avot or Pirkei Ovis, um, which is the ethics of the fathers. And so it's this very high-minded aphorism that in the place where there is no man, and man here means person with agency and power who's going to step up and do what needs to be done, then you should strive to be that person. Hishtadel liot ish. Um, and that's the original. And that is from a rabbinic culture that is in the ascendant and that is striding forward to take Judaism into a new reality. But then the second half of the Yiddish expression, of course, is very wry. And it says, Herring, the, the nothing of fish, that also counts. If you're hungry enough, herring will fill you. And so I really feel that the, the landscape of being a Yiddishist in the 21st century is one of a lot of herring. There's still some big fish swimming around, um, but herring is what we have, and herring is what we're going to have to fill up on. And so be the herring, and that's the spirit with which I swim into the waters of Yiddish.